Brittany Lansford. I am one of the entrance directors for the California State Scholarship Competition. I'm so excited you are considering applying for our Cal State program. It is going to be an experience you will never forget. Uh, Christine and I have worked really, really hard to streamline the application process and we really want you to feel confident and proud of the application you submit. So if you please, 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 if you have any questions or concerns along the way, don't hesitate to ask. Um, reach out to Christina, myself, or any of the field directors and we'll be happy to assist you. Let's get started. So our application is found on our website just as the interest form was. So if you go to www.youthfocusinc.org, um, it will bring you to our webpage. You can go to Programs and then California State Scholarship Competition. This is where you fill out the interest form. You do not need to fill it out again, but you can scroll down to the bottom and log in to continue an existing application. So even if it's your first time, you can still click on this link and it will take you to our official application page for our California State Scholarship Competition. Now, it's really important um, when you get to this page for the first time that you register an account. Now the registering is only going to allow you um, to save your progress along the way. There's a lot of pieces in the application, some of which you're going to want to do in a word processor and then copy over, um, and some things that you're going to want to take some time to work on, some things that you're going to really want to spend some time thinking about, um, or maybe you don't have totally um, complete or prepared yet, so you're not sure. So this is a great, great way. Um, if you register, you can just, it'll save your progress for you on our website. So next time you can just log in and that way you can pick up where you left off. So wanted to start there to make sure it's, you understand it's really important to um, register the first time and then log in before you continue working on the application. So um, the first part is just some basic information and then the representative profile. Now this is not a separate phased judge of, um, separate phase of competition. Um, this is just a short narrative that we give to all judges in all the different phases of competition to give them a sense of who you are, right? So where you want to go to school, um, where you're going to school, what your career ambitions are, and then any highlights from your community service. Really anything um, you want to include that you think the judges should know about you. Now, the rest of the application is really broken out by the different phases of competition. Some of it is judged as a standalone item, while other parts just give us information about what you're doing and what things our crew needs to be prepared for. For instance, the stage arts information, you have the option of presenting a speech or a performing arts presentation, um, and clicking on either one of these will ask for additional details, depending on which one you are doing. Um, you will also note that below each box, um, there is the scoring tab, and all this is found in the official handbook, but um, just as a kind of a quick reference, it tells you how much that phase of competition is worth, um, if there's any penalties for exceeding time, etc. So that's the stage arts. Um, the community advocacy speech is next. Uh, you will be giving one 60 second onstage speech for your community advocacy. Uh, we are a service-oriented organization, and the speech is designed to give the representative the opportunity to share your community service passions um, and a project that you would like to continue or start during your year of service. We ask that you submit your speech um, really just to check length and content. The actual copy of this speech is actually not given to any of the judges, um, which is really nice because if you make a little mistake on stage, not that big a deal because uh, they don't have a copy of your speech. So again, you'll see the scoring and noting that um, the speech cannot exceed 60 seconds in length. Now the community service portion of the application is judged in two separate phases. We have the narrative portion and the community service presentation portion. There will be additional tutorial videos um, that will kind of give you some tips and tricks for each of these. Um, so feel free to watch those videos to get more information about these different phases of competition but that is the community service. You can tell us um, for your presentation if you plan on bringing anything else and what the scoring will be for those different parts of the application. The rest um, is just the 
nuts and bolts, the final bits. Um, you do need a headshot for our program book, so um, there are specifications in the handbook, but you can upload a photo. And then for your stage arts, if there is any applicable music, um, you can upload that here as well so we can get it all compiled onto one computer before the show. Makes it a lot easier for us. And then the academic transcript is optional. It is no longer a phase of competition. However, there is a separate $1,000 scholarship given to um, the title holder who has the most impressive academic transcript. So it's a separate thing. Um, it's a standalone scholarship, but pretty cool um, that that is happening. After that, um, you just have the release and agreement, which is all of the official rules and, you know, little fine print sort of thing. Um, you can either read through it here or you can download and print it for your records. And then just some final medical information for us for the week, because you will be with us for a week. Um, and then, you know, agree to the terms and hit submit. And that is pretty much it. Um, I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, as I said before, please feel free to reach out. Um, we look forward to getting your application and we look forward to seeing you at Cal State Week. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Bye.